welcome. If you need some support, please check out my one-on-one -on -one and group coaching offerings at faithfullygrowing.com forward slash offerings. Additionally, if you're finding this podcast helpful, consider making a tax deductible donation to help keep IFS accessible to all. And you can do that at faithfullygrowing.com forward slash donate. And finally, for more content, visit the website for 25 free guided IFS meditations. Welcome back to IFS Meditations and Insights. I'm Tim Fortescue here to help foster spiritual wholeness and healing through an internal family systems lens. In this caring space, we aim to dive into self-discovery and inner knowledge. I truly believe that when we accept all parts of ourselves, we're able to experience deep love and to live more fully. I'm thankful to be part of your path and journey to inner peace and sacred connection. So settle in, open up your heart and mind, and let's begin another episode. Before I jump into our content, uh, just want to ask you, how are your parts and how have they've been this week. I know that uh, I noticed one of my firefighters, a kind of a funny story now that last weekend I was at home with my twin daughters and my wife had left uh, doing errands and things for our older two kids. Uh, and I decided to go on a little adventure. And actually, I found out that this was a firefighter, one of my little parts that can tend to be reactive that uh, got a little too reactive and maybe was in more of an extreme role. But uh, my wife left and I asked the girls if they wanted to go on a little ride. And we live on a, a property here that has an old rugged road, used to be a road, not a road now, especially not for minivans. And my firefighter found that out. But I said, why don't we drive down to where we have a little swing in the trees? I think the van can make it down there. And so I start down the path uh, and realize later this was my firefighter kind of taking charge. And you've heard me talk about driving the bus. Well, uh, he was driving the minivan this time. And we go down this path. And then I stop just to see if how we're doing, if it's possible to back up and the wheels just spin. And my girls are just smiling, having fun. Actually, my girls are about seven. It's probably about the age of my firefighter who was having so much fun. So I decide, well, let's drive down the path a little more, see if we can gain some traction. Stopped again, begin to back up or try to back up and the wheels just spun. And so five gallons of kitty litter later, multiple cardboard boxes under the tires, trying to gain some traction. I had to call a friend who came with his big truck and was able to pull me and my firefighter out. But after that event, there'd been times in my life where I would just say, oh, you're stupid. And I can't believe that you did that. But it gave me a just a more solid relationship with my little firefighter that's probably around seven and just talked with him and said, you know, I probably should have stopped you with that. That probably wasn't the best thing, but you got us stuck and I let you, but you're doing the best that you can. And was able to say, wow, you keep life fun. And man, this is going to be a good story to tell. I'm even going to tell it on the podcast. Uh, but maybe next time, let's talk about it a little bit for. And it's my responsibility to check in and to do that with you. But uh, thanks for keeping life fun. And so I don't know if you've had experiences like that with your parts uh, this week, but I encourage you to keep this idea of the multiplicity of the mind. Uh, with you and uh yeah be gentle with yourself even when 
one of those little firefighters may get you stuck in the mud. So hopefully that was helpful. If you want a picture of my daughter just up in the front smiling so big uh, while we're waiting on the friend to tow us out, send me an email, Tim at faithfullygrowing.com, and I'd be glad to get it to you. But hope that was helpful. Stay curious, be gentle with yourself, even those firefighters that tend to make life interesting.